We get back to the PGA Championship, and that's the reason we're here tonight with Elwood Willard, the director of the grounds. How was the course? Looked pretty good when I came in. Well, you know, we've been really fighting the weather. Uh, you know, it's uh, the grass is growing, but uh, yeah, overall, uh, we're starting to catch up, and it's starting to look pretty good. All right, John Rahm officially picked up his third PGA Tour win at the New Orleans Zurich Classic. He's the Spaniard who can really rip the golf ball. For some reason, it seems as though this would be a tournament you could maybe expect him to be somewhere around the leaderboard. Absolutely. Um, I predicted him to win the Masters, although he was in the in the mix for a while. Um, but you're right. This suits more to his game. When you think of the PGA Championship, what do you think about? I think about Jack Nicklaus's five victories. Uh, I think about Arnold Palmer never winning a PGA Championship. Um, I think about the fact that this is totally new territory now that the PGA is not the last major. And I think that, you know, it's, it, it's going to factor in uh, to some things on the tournaments on the backside, the U.S. Open in particular, since there's not as much time, remember, from Masters to the U.S. Open, you had a pretty good fair amount of time between majors. Now you don't have that. So it's going to be interesting how all this plays out. Yeah, and again, congratulations to Tiger Woods for getting the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So he's right in that category with Jack the Golden Bear, Nicholas, along with Arnold Palmer. An amazing, very prestigious award. One more with Elwood Willard, and we'll say goodnight from the club at Shadow Lakes next.